so um today is saturday april the 9th and we are about to take the twins to go to an easter egg hunt y'all first easter egg hunt uh i don't know what else where else did they may lead us but that's what we headed out to now it started at 10 o'clock on-site registration though is at 9 30 so we're gonna see how they do it Come on, girl. Kaylani, we gotta go this way, boo boo. Hey, we gotta go this way. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Go ahead, pick the eggs up. Thank you. <laughs> come on. You see the eggs? Come on, pick them up. Boo -boo. Pick them up, boo boo. Go ahead.
April the 14th so I'm about to leave out but I wanted to update y'all real quick so I was going to make this video just like showing y'all the Easter egg hunt but it really wasn't a lot of footage so I decided to turn it into a vlog um so today <clears throat> so today we're taking Khalil to the doctor now at first I wasn't gonna like put this in a hold on wait let me address it do y'all see my neck my eczema is, oh my gosh, it's off the chain. But anyway, so I wasn't gonna address this in the vlog because I really don't like people in my business, so to say, like I like, I don't know, I just, stuff like this, like personal things, I try not to put people into it, but you know, I do um, come up here. My, the purpose of my channel is to like, you know, help other twin moms and moms in general, things like that. So, hi boo boo. Mm -hmm. So today we're taking Khalil to an audiologist. Now the, the concern, his doctor recommended that we send him to an audiologist because she, when, when I took him to his appointment in the video of the 24 hours with twins, she was saying, you know, was he always this quiet? And I was like, yeah, like he's always fairly quiet. He never really, he's just way more quieter than Kehlani. Kehlani is like on 10, Khalil is always like on three. Like they're very different in their personalities. And, you know, she was saying to try to like start keeping his pacifier in the crib, not let him really have to, Khalil, <clears throat> sir, not really allow him to be on his pacifier, have his pacifier in his mouth too much because it could delay his speech. And I was telling her that sometimes when I call his name, he'll just straight up ignore me. Like, it's like when I, even when I try to teach him things, he just straight up ignore me. It's like, he doesn't pay me any mind. He's it's like, he's always in his own little world. So they want him to go see an audiologist to, I guess, rule out if it's a hearing problem. So... That's the concern with him right now. Um, so it's just him here, me and him. We're gonna meet his dad. And of course, you know, that is a um, a sensitive appointment. So I'm not gonna be vlogging. Um, if I do get a little bit of footage, but I'll be sure to let y'all know what they said. Hopefully, it's good things. Um, but yeah, that's my only concern because I'll literally be calling his name like Khalil. Khalil, 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 Khalil. And he just doesn't acknowledge me. So anyway, after that, we are taking him to back to the daycare because me and their dad is going to spend some time. So come, come. Y'all, I, um, I haven't, no, I was about, about to lie and say I have not been to Starbucks in so long, but actually I have. I went to Starbucks the other day. But I'm about to go to Starbucks because I want something. I don't know if I want. I have not had the Ribbon Crunch in a long time. But it's just something about those refreshers. Have y'all had the strawberry acai refresher or whatever? They have different ones. But I get the strawberry. I've tried before the... I don't even know what the other ones are called, but I tried another one, but the strawberry one is the one that I always end up going back to. So I think I want that. Right now, his appointment is it's 1232. His appointment is at 115. Well, it's actually at 130, but they want us to get there at 115. And they said that it should only take 15 minutes. So hopefully we're not in there long. Because his little high pot is going right by the daycare with his sister. And the daycare is closed tomorrow. So we definitely try to utilize this time. You know what I'm saying? It's 
post tomorrow for Good Friday. But oh, uh, also I had to take them. I had lashes on y'all. I had to take them off because I just could not deal with the lashes like hitting. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I just can't do it. I don't see how people do it. The lashes hitting the glasses. I can't do it. I can't. I be about to drive myself freaking crazy. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna just take them off. It look like a naked roll ring. We made it to Starbucks. So let's see. Left is caramel ribbon crunch. Right is strawberry acai refresher. Okay. Any mini money mo catch a tiger by so if he holla let him go. Any mini money mo. Caramel ribbon crunch. And I gotta do the extra caramel and the extra ribbon crunch because it's not good without it okay they be trying to be stingy with the ribbon crunch but i want the ribbon crunch on the bottom and the top Khalil, you want some huh? you want some yes no <laughs> okay my neck look terrible <laughs> why are you having it babe? all right it's about oh wait now it's well it's one, two, three, four, four cars in front of me, so. Come on, because I ain't trying to hear their daddy mouth. He hate when I'm late to anything. Hi, can I have a caramel ribbon crunch? Do you all have the topping? The topping? Yes. Yeah. Okay, can I get extra ribbon crunch on the top and bottom? And I would like the venti. Hello, hey, how you doing? Oh, I love your nails. Thank you. my car i need to stop <laughs> for real because i be, i hate when somebody when they take out money unexpectedly i don't like that yeah. you know like subscriptions and stuff like i want to know you taking my money out yeah <laughs> i get that i totally get that i end up always making different accounts because i'm like stop taking it out right <laughs> like so now i just pause it <laughs> oh my god here you go you can't see the crunch on it i promise it's in there it's like somewhere within the whipped cream okay Thank you. Of course. You have a All good right. One. You have a good one. <laughs> In person. All right, y'all. I'm about to meet him, and then we're going to be on our way to the appointment. It's the next day. Just to update y'all on his appointment they pretty much said that he um he passed the hearing test in his left ear he didn't pass it in his right ear only because he has fluid behind that ear so we are on our way to his primary care to see what they say as far as that I'm, I'm pretty sure they're just going to say it's like an ear infection but the crazy thing is like I said he had fluid behind his ear last last appointment but she said since it wasn't bothering him she wasn't going to get her any medicine so that's what we're doing today since today is good friday we also have kaylani with us because the daycare is closed so and after the appointment we have to go to ikea so that's the only agenda for today i just wanted to update you guys because i did not come back up here yesterday and tell y'all what they said at the appointment so because she was saying that she was asking was he always this quiet especially yeah. compared to her 
And she was saying, I, she was saying, did he um respond to his name? And I told her, most of the time when I'm calling his name, it's like he just doesn't respond. So uh -huh. he went to an audiologist. They yeah. said that the left ear was fine, uh -huh. but the right ear didn't pass because it had fluid. Okay. So that's what we came regarding. And I guess I just wanted some insight on like his development because he's not like, like if I, you know, say something to her like, uh oh, she'll repeat it or like she's just talking more he's not yeah. doing that and also with like hand gestures like yeah. hi or bye-bye uh -huh. he doesn't he has no interest in learning that either mm -hmm. um so does he say any words no does he say uh like mama or dad that even i don't think intentionally <laughs> You usually like to talk your own language a little bit, huh? <laughs> yeah. Does he like to play games with you? Like, does he make eye contact and engage in like that kind of social game, peekaboo, that kind of thing? He makes eye contact, but like if I cover my eyes and say peekaboo, yeah. you know, he'll laugh. He, yeah. he will engage, yeah, he'll but she, that. she'll yeah. actually like cover her eyes. So. I hate to compare them because I know yeah. they're two individual you never take people. Pair, right? yeah. They're two individual, but you know, I just was. And also, the other thing is, I did look online and it said that it might be him just trying to self soothe because he's having like a temper tantrum. But as of Saturday, it's like he wants to keep banging his head on the on the floor purposely. Um, yeah, I don't read too much in this age group into like the head banging thing because okay. it is often just a normal self soothing thing for this age group. A lot of these developmental type symptoms, you have to put in the context of their age. Okay. So if you have like, you know, an eight year old who's banging their head all the time, mm -hmm. that's a little more concerning than like a one year old. Okay. Okay. So, now in terms of speech, you know, at this point, usually you expect them to maybe say like mama or dada, maybe one other word. Um, yeah, like the mouth, that's what, that's the only noise he really makes. Yeah. 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 Take that your mouth. You don't want to be sucking on that. Um, the, um, um, yeah, so that's usually kind of what I always, and I know when Dr. Franley, um, she talked about maybe if things weren't progressing, mm -hmm. having him speak, see the one that's speaking. So, yeah, and that's, that's fine. <laughs> the, um, um, now, of course, you know, when we see kids with like a language delay, we, you know, we think about other developmental issues like autism and that, mm -hmm. but it's hard at this age to really pinpoint that. The thing I would be most looking for is how their social his social engagement is so you know if he's like you know, you know interested in kind of getting your attention and you know and, and kind of you know when you're kind of engaging him socially that he's kind of reciprocating in some way that's what i'm kind of looking for mostly yeah he definitely like laughs and, you know yeah the um um now i most of the time i don't refer to the speech therapy folks at this age because a lot of kids will really start taking off more when they get to like around the 18 month mark. Mm -hmm. um, the, um, um, but if you're not seeing any real progress at this point, it wouldn't hurt to have them do an evaluation and take a look. Okay. So, so um, now when you guys saw the audiologist, did they see fluid behind the eardrum there? The right one. Okay. We'll see how it looks. When was that? Yesterday. Uh, oh, just yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the pie is still there, but we'll have to see, all right? Take a listen here. Where are you going? Are you trying to sneak away? Yeah. 
see there's a little bit of pressure there. It's not defective. Okay. That's good, yeah. Have you been sick at all lately? Did you have like a cold recently? He did. When was that? Oh, uh, maybe a week ago. Okay. It could be a result of that. But she said, she also said she saw it at his 12 month checkup, but she asked me, you know, did it seem to be bothering him? And I told her no. Oh, Dr. Cranley saw yeah. it? Mm -hmm. Ago. Yeah. So she saw she said she saw some fluid then? Yeah, but she yeah, she was asking if, you know, if he seems to be, you know, cranky or pulling at his ear. Yeah. He hasn't. Well, you know, if it's been a month and we're still seeing fluid there, and the question is, is it chronic fluid or is this like it, once you get like fluid behind the ear, it can take several weeks to resorb. Um, now, some kids keep like chronic fluid in there and that can affect their hearing to some degree. Okay. And that can ultimately affect some of their other development, like their speech development. Mm -hmm. um, if they're having a chronic fluid behind it, then we usually recommend them seeing one of the, the ENT folks. Yeah, um, that's, that's what we took them, the ENT. Right, you saw the audiologist uh -huh. though, but the actual ENT surgeons, oh, okay, they'll okay, take a okay. look at it and decide if they need tubes to get okay. that fluid out. Okay. Um, I would suggest we give it a few more weeks. Okay. And see, and maybe have you guys follow up in like three or four weeks, so we can check it again. Okay. And if it's still there, then we'll have the ENT surgery folks take a look at it. Okay. And see what they think. Mm -hmm. um, in the meantime, though, if you'd like, I can put in a referral for speech so we can get that ball rolling. Okay. Uh, you want me to do that so they can at least do an evaluation? Yeah, mm -hmm. we can do that. So we'll start there, okay? Now, if he seems like he starts getting feverish or getting, I think like it's really causing any pain, they may want to have us check that ear again because it's. Sometimes when we get fluid back there, it can get infected. Right now, it's not, though. Okay. okay. Alrighty. Um, any questions? Nope. nope. So we'll put in the referral for the speech folks. Usually, they contact you directly. Khalil. Sir. <laughs> Do you see him? Uh, no, Khalil. I think they just said it in <laughs> so what i'm looking for y'all i don't have we don't have any type of like storage space in the room whatsoever so i wanted some type of storage space in the closet to where you know like shelves or something so i'm looking for a dresser the twins honestly need one but they do have one right now it's just like a tent one like we don't have one it out. I even thought about doing something like that with the little cubbies and then in the cubbies using like underwear and stuff. So I thought about that also. So I don't know. I actually like these dressers like put together like this. And it's only $49. I think that's really cute. Like for the kids, not for me. <laughs> Kaylani. Kaylani, why you keep taking your socks off, girl? Where is your other sock at? Babe, I think her other sock might have disappeared. <laughs> Interesting. Don't take this sock off. Uh -huh. That's okay. Aww. How old are your twins? They're twelve. Oh, they go. They're older. <laughs> you giving me hope that I can make it. Other back there. Really? Yeah, on the ground. Walking, yeah. And I said, Who's a baby song? I'm gonna go find that baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, is she There's lost her sock? I found it. Is it far back there? No, I think no. you go right down there to the right. I think it's right there. Okay. Uh, All right. <laughs> she lost. always take her socks off. She never keep them on. Yes. And he always keep his on. <laughs> <laughs>
He's like, I know you're talking about my socks. <laughs> you still have both your socks. Yeah, and she. You just... are sockless. <laughs> well, thank you for telling us that. Cause I sure yeah. was like, she lost one of her socks. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, I recognize that sock. <laughs> thank you. What if I do something like this against the ends, like the wall when you first walk in, and I can keep like socks, leggings. She found it. <laughs> Well, they have an even shorter one over there. Yeah, cause I, I would even do something like this, you guys. But I don't know if this, I feel like this would be too wide. I have to measure it. Let me just, I'm gonna take a picture of it. And then, cause this is only $100. I would say temporarily unavailable. Great. The <laughs> what do y'all think of this mirror? I'm gonna show y'all where I wanna put it at. But I like it and it's only $60. You guys, I found the mirror in the store. But, but it's not here as you can see. Black. It's not here. They have all of these white ones. They have white ones which is the same thing, but just white. They have all of the white ones, and then they have the skinnier ones for 40, but I don't want the skinny one. Then they have this one for 90, which that is what, 60? That's $30 more. However, if I was to order that other mirror and get it shipped, it would be $40 for delivery. So I might as well get this one. But now the dilemma is, how are we gonna get it home? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna ask them if I can buy it and then come pick it up. That's what I'm gonna ask them. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna ask them if you pick it up for me. Cause I like this one too. This ain't long. <laughs> morning, morning, you guys. Happy Easter! Today we are not really celebrating Easter too much. Um, as y'all saw, we saw Kalani. It's not food, Kalani. And then she took us some damn huh. So we not celebrating Easter as in we're not really like doing anything. We're not having an Easter egg hunt. Um, but I am gonna cook, and you know we took the twins to. <clears throat> the Easter egg hunt that y'all saw earlier in the club and then I made like a East, little Easter bag for Elijah which is my oldest son and I'm gonna make one for Noel but anyway I am cooking tonight y'all just like a regular Sunday dinner I'm gonna cook me some roast so I got my crock pot right here and then I got the roast right here I'm also gonna be doing some macaroni and cheese, corn, because that's the only vegetable that babe and the kids really like. Well, Elijah like broccoli and stuff, but, and then some cornbread. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. I got a new order of Chef Tina Lee Original Spice Mix. Y'all, this is the best seasoning. Come on, focus. This is the best season ever. The best.
filming on my phone, y'all, because my I'm filming on my phone because my dad's camera went dead. But I'm about to watch TV, y'all. I've been watching. Well, actually, not. I've been watching. I turned on this show on Netflix, and it was something about. Oh, it's called Surviving Death. Excuse me, ma'am. You're rude. That's why you hit the dead old couch trying to be mean. What? The show is called Surviving Death. Look at her. She is. She always want the attention. It's called Surviving Death, and I really like it. The first situation that we ran into was. Was this um this lady that she was kayaking? I think it's called. Girl, you better stop. Don't pull this, cause if you pull this, you're gonna be hollering. It's not for kids. Um. So she was kayaking and she went down like a drop, and her kayak is that what it's called? Listen, I don't do these water activities, so I don't know, but I believe it's called her kayak got stuck and she was submerged underwater for 15 minutes and she was saying she was describing everything that she was seeing when she was underwater she said she was so at peace she was so at peace she was not panicking she didn't scream out for help or anything and then the people that she was kayaking with they came and they was able to get her from under the water um but when they got her under the water she was like bloated and like purple like she said she she said 100 for sure she knows she was dead but they started doing cpr on her and then she came back to life she didn't have no brain damage which y'all if you're underwater for 15 minutes not a little bit of your nostril with the air she was submerged 10 feet underwater and she just was describing how also she had a son and she always like had this feeling that her son would never make it past his 18th birthday so she was always so worried so his 18th birthday came and she finally told him that you know this feeling that she been having and she was kind of at ease since he turned 18 and then he ended up dying two years later so he made it till 20 unfortunately so yeah she just was saying you know it's just i like that type of stuff like mediums psychics i like that i like that so i'm about to watch it it's called surviving death on netflix if you're interested and i'm about to enjoy my coffee let's check on this rose it ain't nowhere near time but oh looking good boo -boo, looking good Alright you guys, so it's 4 o'clock now. I'm going to go ahead and cut these potatoes up. I'm using this. The plate is not dirty. I just, you know them plates that look dirty but they're not dirty. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and cut. I just got some regular red potatoes. I can't wait to eat. I know that I haven't made roast in so long. Honestly, I'm starting to feel like none of the holidays hit like it used to. I just, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's that we're getting older. So it's not as important to us as it used to be. But, and I feel like now, you know how like your parents used to keep like the celebrations going and stuff like that. Do this mean it's bad? Is that what that mean? I'm gonna just cut that off. Okay. I kind of feel like this new generation is not like keeping stuff going, myself included. <laughs> Cause it's just to me, I just be like, all of this is just I mean, yeah, it's you know, you definitely want your kids to have an experience, but all of this money that we spend for holidays and they're just all man-made man-made holidays even down to your i mean 
you know, like as far as your birthday, I feel like why not celebrate your birthday? Because you know, that was the you was born. You made it another year around the sun. But all of these other holidays that have you out here spending money, like Christmas, you gotta buy gifts. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't even the original meaning of Christmas. So it's just yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna get the now I'm gonna do the carrots and then I'm gonna have to wash it off, season them a little bit. Y'all, would y'all believe I've been in the same damn spot since I talked to y'all earlier? I sat there and watched that whole series because when I showed y'all, I was I think I was on episode three. So I sat there and watched the whole series. Now I'm watching just YouTube. You know, as far as like people that uploaded today. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. Add some seasoning. I'm using the McCormick All Purpose Himalayan Pink Salt Black Pepper. And garlic. I really, oh, <laughs> I really like this seasoning. Hi, friend. How's it going in there? Y'all see that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> These people been hanging with me today. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Khalil. Khalil. Say hi, boo boo. Say hi, boo boo. <laughs> I told y'all, Khalil been. Okay, okay, okay. Khalil has just been so grumpy today, but you know, I don't think he feels good. No. He don't want to be bothered. Look at him, just cry. Food is done, you guys. I know the presentation is horrible, but I am tired and I just wanted to eat. So, food is done. <laughs> 